All right, so let's look at the thrust numbers from the thrust stand uh, for the 4100 kV motor. This one actually measure slightly higher at 4130 kV, so only a little bit higher. Uh, so pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good numbers from this motor. Pretty powerful motor, I think. Uh, Three-inch prop uh, certainly seems to be the best match for this motor, uh, so we can keep the amp uh, draw low. And as you can see, it's uh, making lots of uh, thrust on on all the three inch props. The Gen Fan 4045 uh, also should be should be a good match. Uh, a lot of thrust. Uh, amps are getting a little bit high there, but uh, keep in mind that these uh, amp uh, numbers are somewhat exaggerated. Uh, usually, 20 anywhere from 25 to 35 percent lower amps uh, once you get flying. Uh, it's also going to be limited by the lipo that you're using. So if you're using a tire lipo or a lipo that doesn't have a high seat rating it's going to determine how many amps uh, you're getting to the motors on 3s also it's a pretty pretty good option uh, if you want to use it uh, on three inch four inch also as well uh, not too bad for these bigger props the four inch stripe blades are probably not a good match uh, it's just too much too high of a kb and and uh, it's not going to have enough torque to drive these uh, these larger props. Uh, still, you know, one kilogram on the uh, on the 5030. Uh, this Gen Fan 5030, of course, is not uh, a good prop to use for spinning at these high RPMs. It's too flimsy. It'll it'll bend in flight. So it also starts to flutter, starts to wobble, it starts to flatten out. So it doesn't do too well. But uh, there's other props that that are made of better material that are clones of this one. So that's why I. I keep using this 530. I don't, at this time, I didn't have the other props. Now I, I do have the Diatone Ghost 5030, which is made out of uh, polycarbonate, which is a much stiffer material. But the Diatone I did test on the uh, on the Brother Hobby 2800, uh, 1407 2800. So and it's pretty close to this one within a few grams of uh, of the Gen Fan. So this one's still a good prop uh, size to use. Uh, just uh, you know, not the Gen Fan. The diatone or the DAO would be a much better choice. Uh, on three on 3S uh, seems to be a pretty good. On 4S is probably way too high, uh, way too high for this motor. So it'll probably overheat. But as you can see, the motor does have a lot of torque. Uh, it's pushing this prop uh, past the one kilogram mark. So let's do a quick comparison against the uh, Brother Hobby of the same KV. So just to get a sense of uh, how this motor falls in the in the pecking order. So let's see. All right, so here's the uh, RCX versus the Brother Hobby, just to get a sense of how the motors uh, does. On the three-inch props, as we can see, the uh, the actual KV uh, comes into play because the RCX actually did measure slightly higher than 4100, and the Brother Hobby was actually lower than 4100. So there's about a hundred KV difference, which uh, it's it's significant, and we can see it on the uh, on the results here. Uh, the RCX is going to have uh, higher numbers all th uh, across the across the test. So Lumineer 3040 by 3, uh, 691 versus 640. So it's going to be about uh, 50 grams difference or so, 40 to 50 grams as you can see throughout the whole test. Let's look at the 4045. This is when we start to load the motor more. So we can see the RCX is doing quite well actually, 828 versus 770. So that's uh, that's about almost uh, 60 grams difference and for about the same amperage so only we're only looking at about one more amp so that's that's pretty good as we load the motor with the tri blade 4045 by three again uh, the motor is doing quite well uh, almost 80 grams more and the amps are light higher but not not that much and on the 5030 so again the gap is it's about the same so there you go, yeah, pretty pretty good motor from from RCX, but uh, yeah, it uh, matches best with the three inch props on 4S and and 3S also as well. You might be able to run this on 3S for these uh, larger four blade four inch props, but uh, I I don't know. I think the the lower KV would be a much better choice to run these larger props, the the 3400 KV. So would probably be best. So, all right, that's uh, the data for this test. Uh, hope you find it useful, and until the next video, thanks for watching.